Hey guys, so I haven't made a video for a while and I thought today I should make a video about um, something completely different, something that's not related to cars or fashion. It's one of my other passions, which is music. So some of you may not know, but I'm quite obsessed with music and the quality has to be really good. Anyhow, the reason I'm making this video today is because I finally managed to create a sound system that produces best quality sound, at least for me, and it's crisp and clear without spending an arm and a leg. You can just go out and spend a lot of money, 50, 60,000, 100,000 on just a sound system, um, and I'm talking pound sterling. So they can be very expensive, but if you want the best quality sound, you can still do it without going crazy. And I've gone through numerous systems. So over there on the top, you can probably see little wires sticking out. I used to have a Bose system that was fitted into this house. I had speakers that were inside the wall um, sort of three speakers here, um, a subwoofer in that corner over there, and then two speakers on the top, which were then connected to another amplifier under the stairs where everything was controlled through this remote. It's, it was very complex, but the sound quality wasn't great. After a month, I hated it. So I removed those speakers and then I put a Sonos system. Sonos, I heard it in a uh, shop, it sounded really good and it sounded very punchy and bassy and not much affectation to the sound, so I thought I should get one. I got the Sonos soundbar, the sub, some additional speakers for the surround and everything. It did the job for a little bit, I was never truly happy with it, but it was all right. The other thing these days is that oh, I haven't done this filming for a while. My arms are not used to it. The other thing these days with all these systems is you have to put new wires around the house and it kind of makes it very expensive and damages the house. So this time I went and got these speakers. These are the Biolab 18. That's the model number and they have what's called the acoustic lens apparently this thing on the top so there's a speaker here that throws the sound up and it's then emitted 180 degrees inside this unit as you can see there's speakers here and here and then there is a lot of other stuff at the bottom it's attached to the wall uh, with this bracket so when I bought these speakers um, I rang a few people who said that they would they are experts in fitting these speakers and they were going to charge me between two and four hundred pounds yes two to four hundred pounds to attach these speakers but I keep going back to my point people are inherently lazy I rang four different companies and all of them were like, oh, we're really, really busy. We can't come for another week or two. I was like, you can do this on your way home. Half an hour job. If someone offered me money for two to four hundred pounds for half an hour's job, I would jump at it and do it. So, I mean, if my bosses ask me to work late and if I get paid, I do it. It doesn't matter. But these people were like, no, no, no. We have to go to back to our families. Five o'clock, we finish work, whatever. Anyhow... I was like, fine, I'll do it myself. It took me, what, 15 minutes? Three screws in the wall, speakers attached, done. They're wireless, no cabling, saved a lot of money. Then, you can see the TV behind me. Now, Bang & Olufsen, an amazing company, but their TV, the OLED screen TV uh, with an arm that is attached to the back, costs about eight and a half thousand pounds and it comes with a massive 
thing underneath. So under the TV, they have the sound unit, which makes it very bulky and big, but mainly extremely expensive. And they use LG screens. So I decided I'm going to buy an LG TV using the OLED screen that Bang & Olufsen use as well. There we go, 55 inch OLED screen, ultra high definition, and it's amazing. So I had a 4K TV, uh, which was also ultra high definition, but it was an LCD rather than an OLED screen. They're worlds apart. So if you're planning on changing your TV, I would highly recommend getting an OLED screen because each individual pixel lights up. The darks, the blacks are true blacks, which makes it really amazing. Now, the next thing is obviously these BNO speakers are very expensive. I have to accept that this is something that many people wouldn't buy, but if you're a true audiophile and if you have that disease like me where your ears tell you if there's something wrong with the sound, you have to have these or something from these guys. But the subwoofer, the one that's lying there, if you buy the latest version, it's two and a half thousand pounds just for the subwoofer. So you can buy this, which I did for a thousand pounds. You can get the old one, which is more powerful than the current one. Although I don't really need massive bass, uh, but you can get a receiver from them for about 180 or 200 pounds that makes it wireless. So instead of spending two and a half thousand, you can buy this one and attach a receiver and make it wireless. Now, the biggest thing that people get trapped with in Bang & Olufsen is that their TV has the sound processing unit, which controls all the speakers, all the sound, distributes. It has proprietary cabling. You can't really do anything. You can't attach it to normal wireless things. So what I did was I found that they make a thing called a transmitter a BioLab transmitter. So I'll show you what that is. So here it is. This little thing, the white box, basically takes the signal from other sources and then transmit it, transmits it wirelessly to those speakers and those ones. So it makes the whole unit wireless and while I'm showing you these I can show you that this uh, is a Bang & Olufsen speaker as well it's two of those again quite pricey but they produce amazing sound they're really really tiny but they have really solid punchy sound um, this particular ones or these ones are Bio Lab 17s, so 17s at the back and 18s at the front, and that's how it works. And then uh, the main thing now is you have a TV which is plugged in, but you can't connect it directly. Well, you can connect it directly to the transmitter, but the thing will be that when you turn the volume up and down from the TV, it will go to the speakers, it may not be that controlled. And also uh, the TV will be doing the sound processing, which means that the transmitters may not receive uh, the right signal. Anyway, it can be done, but it's not going to be good sound quality and that will just be the TV, what about music? So I had, you'll probably laugh at this, but I had an amplifier that was attached to my electric system here in the house because the whole house is wired. And it was one of those that um, just stayed there under the stairs in the electronic cabinet. And I had a remote control that I was able to control the amplifier from various places. So I decided that I'm going to use that amplifier because it's very expensive and it has, I don't know, it, it does 11.2 surround sound. I only need 5.1. So, 
again, this thing is really fat and ugly. So I couldn't put it out anywhere because everything is slim and sleek. And then you have this massive ugly beast. The thing with this massive ugly beast is it produces amazing sound. And it does amazing sound processing from uh, all kinds of sources. You can play Spotify, Airplay, and all kinds of inputs. So at the back, now this amplifier is so old that it wouldn't fit in this cabinet. And initially I had placed it where this chest box is but it was taking up so much space and it looked really hideous. Everything else was sleek and slim. If you look at the slimness of this television, it is paper thin. And then we had that massive monstrosity lying underneath it. So I thought I should put it in here, but it wouldn't fit because it was too wide. So what I did was I cut the back of this unit and now the amplifier is sticking out, which doesn't really bother me because there's space and all the cables and everything is connected. But what I've done now is that the TV has an optic fiber cable that goes into the amplifier. The amplifier then has different channels. So instead of using the amplifier's powered source, which is the amp itself, I'm using the preamp, which means that it does the sound processing but doesn't go through the amplification because all of these speakers have built-in amplifiers, so we, they don't need amplification. So this thing then converts the sound to each channel, and then each channel is fed into that transmitter below, and therefore you get full surround sound and crystal clear high definition music it is just so breathtaking i don't even want to leave the house anymore the bass unit is very big and it's very very powerful i think my living room including my kitchen area um, and dining room area is too small for this so i just within the amplifier I turned down all the um, feed to the subwoofer all the way down. So it works, but it's not so loud and it doesn't take over the quality of the sound. What you may also notice is that there's no glass front. And if you want to control this uh, amplifier or the components that are hidden underneath it, you can't really unless you've got one of these doors open. I mean, the display comes up on the screen so you can see the menus and everything, but the infrared signal doesn't reach. So I've got this little light that you can see here. That's an infrared receiver and it takes the signal from there. And then you have this little thing here, which is an infrared sender. So basically it connects that thing connects into a USB port for power, and then it's got this little cable. I bought it from Amazon for about 10 pounds. And basically, it does the trick. It just simply allows you to send the infrared signal into the cabinet. And yeah, so I didn't have to do much. I was initially thinking of replacing that whole thing to put the amplifier inside. So having this slightly different one, and I couldn't find anything that I absolutely loved. And there's no point changing furniture if you're gonna change it for a little short while and then you hate it. So I thought, you know what? I don't really like this unit anyway. So if I cut the back and then I get rid of it, then it's fine. When I find something that I like and it fits the amplifier, then this can be replaced until such time. This is it. Uh, so yeah, I thought I should tell you that this, if anyone's interested, um, feel free to ask questions and I'm happy to answer, but you can build a really, really exquisite, amazing system. These speakers are currently lying on the table. 
because um, they didn't have the floor stands which I've ordered um, again Bang & Olsen everything is so expensive even the floor stands are 300 pounds for two pieces of metal um, but they will make these speakers look even more beautiful and that's the thing I guess uh, these guys charge money not just because it's amazing sound quality but also um, because they're so beautiful I mean they are just hanging on the wall like that and producing such amazing sound some of you are wondering why there's a dog bed lying on the sofa my cat has decided that he wants to sit high up on things like this so he's resting and he doesn't sit if that bed is on the floor it used to be a dog bed but now the cat's made it its own and that's why it's lying there because he sits on it and this sofa which is completely ruined needs to be replaced is now a dog bed because the dog's decided that it's his so i'm left with this little space the beauty of having that system set up in that way using that particular um, amplifier allows you to adjust the distance so this amplifier has it's because it's a professional piece of kit it has all these features that allow you to uh, put the distance of where you want the focus of the sound to be so i've told it how far i am from each of those speakers when i'm sitting on this sofa so it adjusts the quality of the sound to focus here so if you stand up and walk around the sound changes it's light and mild and you don't hear the bass the minute you sit down suddenly everything transforms and it's just just i don't have the words to explain i think uh, i probably would not have done this um, whole massive change of the sound system because i had so many sonos system pieces that i bought and they were dotted around the house and connected and all that I wouldn't have changed it if I hadn't bought the Aston Martin. The Aston Martin has the Bang & Olsen sound system. And every time I sat in the car, I would be like, wow, I feel like I'm in a concert hall. It is the best. And so I'd been holding off for a while, not spending money on these speakers and setting up this system because I always thought it was going to cost a lot of money. But the more I did the research, um, in if i had bought the tv the speakers and the whole system it would have cost me nearly double of what it cost me by adding these things i mean i didn't have to pay for the amplifier so that's two thousand pounds saved in a way because i already had that in the house but otherwise um it would have been I think 20,000 at least to have these speakers and a Bang & Olsen TV and everything connected. Um, so I think I've done it for just over half of that. So yeah, I thought I should share this with you because if you guys like cars, then you may like sound systems and things. And if anyone's interested, this might help. Plus, I haven't had anything else to make videos about. I've just been working a lot and uh, the weather has not been great. It's been raining and when it's not raining, I'm working and when I'm off, it's raining. So, yeah. Anyway, the good news today is that it's the 22nd, Friday before Christmas, and I got the Christmas cake. One of my friends, um, she makes cakes. She used to be a banker, but now she's decided, uh, well, since she had kids, she has to stay home and look after the kids. So she does this baking on the side as a hobby. And the cakes are so beautiful that she started selling them. And I ordered one cake. I'll put a couple of pictures and you'll see they are just beautiful. I mean, I don't want to even cut the cake for Christmas, but I have friends and family coming from Germany and other places so um, we will have a nice cake not the traditional Christmas cake but we will have a nice cake um, so yeah that's the highlight of the day so I don't know if many of you are interested in cakes
I have a sweet tooth, so I like anything sweet. Anyhow, hope you enjoyed the video and um, I shall see you soon. Thanks for watching.